Hey guys, welcome to a, another vlog. I have now been living on my own for around three weeks now and I've started to become more comfortable in this environment. I've created a routine now. I've gotten more uh, adjusted to like the time difference and everything. So I figured I would vlog to kind of show you guys what I get up to on my weekends. And if it's not too boring, I'll probably show you guys what I do for my classes, like my routines, what I do on my breaks and stuff. So I hope you guys enjoy. Also, side note, this is my first time living alone, so you guys are going to see me try a bunch of things that I haven't done, like, before, <laughs> because I commuted for undergrad, I didn't have to cook anything, I didn't have to go grocery shopping, so all this stuff where I probably will look dumb for those that have done this already in undergrad, I'm just starting from ground zero i'm a complete novice so i hope you guys are entertained <laughs> so i was gonna show you guys my setup and everything but i saw this notification on my ipad there's a flash flood warning you guys this weather is atrocious i didn't even realize that it was flooding places because luckily columbia is in a higher part of manhattan so you don't really see any flooded streets down below but i don't know that's just absolutely crazy to me that there's so much rain here coming from a drought state it has me wanting a trench coat i'm not complaining though because i love trench coats the last time i actually got a trench coat was in middle school when we went to our like eighth grade annual east coast trip and i wanted it specifically for new york because i wanted to be fashion forward <laughs> so it's kind of for a full circle that i want the trench coat again but this time i want it to be like maxi really cute. I wanted to cover my legs because every time I step out in the rain, my pants are soaked. But anyways, this is the recipe I'm following. Super simple. I need the most simple recipes to follow with like simple ingredients and easy things to find. For like proteins and stuff though, I just go to the market. There's a ton that sells already like pre-made stuff. There's this Italian market that has like grilled chicken that you could buy. I bought meatballs for this pasta I made. But if you guys are wondering what I've been doing like the past three weeks alone, um, I've, I literally bought the family pack of Panda Express and I just finished it like a couple days ago or I didn't finish it, but I was just completely sick of it. So I threw the rest away. So now I'm like, I have to cook. I need some like fresh foods, some fresh veggies and Honestly, just buying the protein, that's fine for me because I don't know how to cook a steak and I feel like I'm a little nervous to cook chicken because food poisoning. So that's like my plan right now. So this is my progress, but I had to call my mom because I don't know what to do. Like, do I wash the onion? What do I do with the other half I'm not gonna use? Like, it's too confusing. Not enough details in this recipe. I heard on TikTok that you don't cut off the bottom, but my mom just told me to cut off the bottom so I could peel it easier. I don't know who to listen to. It's not crushing. Okay, I kind of flattened it. Yeah. Oh, this is giant. I'm a fan of zucchini. My mom doesn't really cook it, but I remember the one time where she did cook, um, like zucchini noodles, and it was so good because she used um the excess oil and fat from when she cooked steak, and it was the best. Well, they're not even. <laughs> I am like the living version of like that Kendall Jenner meme where she didn't know how to cut a cucumber and she's doing this. I feel like that. Now I sympathize. Okay, I'm like cutting this way slower than an average person would because it'd probably be like chomp, chomp, chomp. But I'm like trying to make all the slices the same size. How do you estimate that fast? Is that right? Am I doing it right? Whenever I do that, I always think of the meme. Actually, I think this is better than the zucchini. 
It's not the best, but practice makes perfect. They said to pat dry the um, vegetables, but know, my mom has never done that, I don't think. I guess I'll try it. Um, pat it so that. Oh. <laughs> I am, that's what I'm doing. Okay. Okay. Okay, so this is the finished product. This is my lunch, and then this is the thing I was cooking up. Um, I mean, it's pretty basic. I, it's hard to go wrong here, but I think I overcooked some slices because I was, like, putting it in one by one, kind of. And then, obviously, the slices just aren't the same size between the zucchini and the squash because I cut the squash thinner, so. And now I know. So I finished lunch and I threw out trash and went down to the lobby to pick up a package that I got from Zara. Covering my address. But I got some stuff for the coming fall and winter because I don't have a lot of sweaters. So that's really what this package is. And also the shipping here for Zara to New York is so fast compared to the Bay Area. I think I ordered this Monday and it got here on Friday. Like, that's unheard of. If I were to order something in the Bay Area, it would definitely take at least a week. Okay, so this is the first top on. I think it's super cute, super soft. Um, it is a little thin, so I think I'm going to have to get some of this like heat tech I've heard so much about. I think Uniqlo is really big here for that. So I'll consider looking into that stuff when it actually gets super cold. You might be saying, oh, isn't it already cold? No, actually, even though it's like raining and stuff, it's supposed to be like 80 next week, which is so wild. Like the weather here is crazy. So anyways, this is the first top. Okay, and this is the second sweater. Honestly, now that I have it on, it's kind of scratchy. <laughs> I'm like, I need like a tank top underneath or like another long sleeve or else I this is not comfortable, but it looks really good. I love how baggy it is, but this something has to go underneath this because this, <laughs> I'm like scratching myself. I think the H&M sweater is a lot less scratchier. Maybe I just have to wash it, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'm done cooking for today oh my god it's like more energy than i thought it would take but i was prepared to have to like balance that and all my really hard homework so i'm glad i'm not super booked with assignments today i kind of grinded it out yesterday anyways these are the beans i only have like 20 strings <laughs> but it's fine because i have so much squash to finish and i don't even have that much um meat or like protein Okay, so it's been a couple hours since I last filmed, uh, but I just got my dinner ready. I just have this pasta that I made using this Carbone pasta sauce that I found here. And then I have a meatball that I got from, again, the Milano market. It's really cool here because you have like an Italian market, so you feel like the ingredients and stuff or, and the way that it's all cooked is a little bit more authentic we don't really have italian markets in the bay area because i just don't think there's a big italian demographic over there i feel like with this new school the amount of homework is manageable it's totally fine but then for me personally i have to like review extra because the classes are just so hard i'm like trying to catch up um with material that people already know in the class so have to put in that extra work, which I have to try and get used to because back at San Jose State, I was just fine doing the homework and I was good. And I always had like an easy class where I can kind of relax for a little bit. Here, all my classes are so hard and I have to like review extra. So I have that on top of homework. So that's why I like take so long to do things or like 
finish my work because I'm not just doing homework, I'm also just reviewing slides and trying to understand things. Okay, good morning everyone, it is a new day. I'm currently making breakfast, which is not the norm for me, but I have to because I'm going to a workout class. So my friend and I are going to rumble in the Upper East Side. We went last week and I absolutely loved it. So we're going again and then hopefully it's not raining in the afternoon so we get to walk around in the Upper East Side a little bit. So that's the plan for today. day of just walking around the Upper East Side and Midtown. We walked from Rumble all the way down. I think we went down pretty far. We went down to like Grand Central Station area, which is quite far. So did a lot of walking after our workout. Um, the first place we went to, I showed a little clip, is Levain Bakery. I have always wanted to try Levain Bakery cookies. So I just got like three. I think one is like their fall cookie, um, just like a fall version of their chocolate chip. And then I got the like double chocolate chip cookie. And then I got the chocolate with peanut butter cookie. So I have like three giant cookies. And then afterwards we went and had lunch at this Italian place. I thought it was really good. I I like noticed that most of the people that were eating there were Italian so I trust that that was a pretty good authentic Italian place for good pasta and all that stuff and then afterwards we started walking down to Midtown like Fifth Avenue area and then we hit up so many shops we went to like Abercrombie, Zara, Aritzia, all that stuff. I actually got something from Aritzia let me just show you guys. I got something for class because I love comfy pants and I really hate wearing jeans. Especially for a class that are like a little longer, like my three hour one. I'm not wearing jeans to that. So I got something that I've been looking for for a while. And they're just these, what would you call them? The Cozy Fleece Mega Straight Sweatpants. I got them in the Heather Cloud because I just think it's like the most neutral color. Honestly, my closet is getting smaller because of all the stuff that I'm getting here. But when in New York, you know? I had a package waiting for me, kind of related to another shop that we went to, Ralph Lauren. We were just looking at sweaters and stuff and I was excited because this is coming, this came in today. Shipping is so fast here in New York. Like, I ordered this the same time I got like the Zara stuff and came so quickly. Just got the American flag sweater. Um, this is in light pink because it's in the pink pony type of collection. I think it's because it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Okay, so here it is on. Honestly, I don't mind the fit. It is more fitted, but I think it's really cute. The sleeves are the perfect length. I think this is also the perfect length if I want to like tuck it into my jeans or something. I just do that. It looks really cute. Okay, it is now the next day. It's Sunday. I took it very chill this morning. It's basically the afternoon because I don't have that much work to do or at least I'm not really doing homework. I'm just reviewing, which is like half the work that I do here. <laughs> So this is the setup. I moved my chair over here. That's my food. And then I have my TV over there. So my laundry is finished. I'm now setting up my hang dry clothes. Okay guys, it is already nighttime, as you can see from my window. It's like almost 10 o'clock and I'm just about to prepare dinner. 
I have been reviewing for the past two hours ish. Um, honestly, I probably wouldn't be reviewing this late if I did start on time, but I did it. I was procrastinating on my phone because the burnout of constantly reviewing is hitting me, but at least I got stuff done. But anyways, I am preparing just an easy meal. I have ribs that I got from the Italian supermarket. Put up some green beans with this. But anyways, more on reviewing. I feel like a lot, if I were to vlog constantly about my time here, it would just be like me studying a lot because that's just the majority of what I do and that's not fun to watch. Like if I'm doing something fun, I've put it in my schedule to do that fun thing, like working out. I have to make sure I set aside time to get that done. And I want to get that done. Like I don't want to just be in New York here and just study the whole time. That is not what I want to do. I want to take advantage of living in the city. So unfortunately, I can't schedule fun time like every day. So it's just the reality of it. So don't want to make it seem fabricated that I get to like do all these fun things every day because I'm in New York. It's not. That's not reality, but I think this vlog kind of gives you guys a good idea of like what an average student's like days in the life are. Well, average, yeah, average student. There's a lot of students that are super smart here that don't have to review as much as I do, but again, an average student's point of view. So aside from like scheduled fun time that I have for myself, the only time I actually get to relax is probably when I'm either doing chores, cooking, cleaning, whatever, or I'm eating. So now I get to chill my brain out and I get to watch Miss USA. I recorded it, I didn't watch it live and I saw the winner already, but it's different when you watch the actual program and the interviews. I'm a huge pageant fan. I go crazy for Miss Universe. So this is dinner for tonight and I have Miss USA on. Amazing. Okay guys, I am off to class. I'm just putting my shoes on. This is the fit. Super comfy. Um, but the weather is supposed to be amazing today. So afterwards, I think I'm gonna go walk to go get lunch, but I'm running late, so I have to go. Okay, it's a couple hours now. I've just been reviewing more of what I was basically doing yesterday. Um, but now I'm getting ready to go to the gym because I do have some extra time. And I feel like if I schedule in like this extra stuff, like going to the gym, which isn't necessary, it boosts my productivity because I'm like, okay, I'm gonna be at the gym from here to here. So that means I have to finish this and this. So. That's my thinking. So I'm gonna go down to the gym. I have a movie loaded up, so I'm just gonna do my usual 12, 3.30, like what I usually do at home. And then do some glute stuff and then come back up here and do my usual mat Pilates. I got a really squishy mat from Amazon that I wanna use. So that's my plan. I was gonna come back here and do some mat Pilates, but I am so tired. <laughs> I was able to put more weights on today, so exerted my energy a little bit. So I'm just going to stop working out now. <laughs> I'm just gonna um, vacuum my apartment 
I wasn't gonna do it this week, but there's just like so much like lint and stuff that I see on the ground and it's really bothering me. And then I have to put those clothes away and then I have to put on my sheets and stuff. Okay guys, next day, Tuesday, I'm going over to the business campus this morning, so I'm going to head over and take the shuttle, and then afterwards I have a second class. Yesterday is just one class, it was super chill, but now it's like kind of ramping up. I think my most busy days are like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then I grind out on Friday, Saturday, so that's just how my schedule usually goes, but I'm just wearing the same thing, I just changed the sweater, so... Let's go over to Manhattanville. It's a little after my class now. I wanted to vlog more of like commuting to the business college and like showing the shuttle and the classroom and the buildings and stuff, but I was kind of rushing to class. The bus gets there like literally right when class starts. So I have to book it into my classroom. So could not do that. But if you guys actually want to see like the business campus and all that stuff. I have it in my moving vlog, which is the vlog before the last one I just uploaded. I'm just gonna have some food now. Grilled chicken with vegetables, <laughs> which is what I cooked. I have so many of these and like barely any protein left, so I have to go grocery shopping. Maybe after class today, maybe I'll go because I'm gonna bring my backpack anyways. Okay, I made the decision. I think I'm gonna go grocery shopping after class today, so I'm gonna have to bring some Target bags in case. Um, because I can't stick it all in my backpack. Okay, so I just finished my class. Oh yeah, he's I like our quizzes are fill in the blank, and the spacing can like make your whole answer wrong. So. It looks like I failed the quiz, but I technically didn't. The TA just has to go and fix stuff. So, yeah, now I'm just walking to go to the grocery store. It's like so warm on campus. Everyone's out on the grass. They're setting up for the presidential thing. Now I'm just going to the Italian market to go buy some food. Okay, I got my groceries. Oh, I got so much protein. It feels so good walking out here though. It's like, I think 80. Back when I was at home, I never really like took walks like this or like appreciated the warm weather. I hope you can hear me. <laughs> but now that I'm here, I do more walking. I get out more. I feel like this is the era where I'm doing things more purposefully. Like, I'm not just doing homework and staying at home. Like, I'm doing stuff that I actually want to do and making time for it. So, this is the new era. Oh my gosh, I'm back. So sweaty. It's so hot. It is hot in here because sun. So, I'm going to turn on the AC, which I haven't done in a while. I'm like texting all my friends about that quiz I was just talking about because we a lot of us just got like false fails because of the formatting. I don't have to change into shorts. It's so hot. Okay, I'm back. Cooler. Let's show you guys what I got. Basically a bunch of protein except for some carbs. So I got half pound of salmon. I got a pound of roasted potatoes. Only thing I got a full pound in because I know I wanted these. These look so good. Last but not least, I feel like I'm gonna have to cook this. I let, that's at least what my mom did when she was here. I got some roast beef and it's like super pink. So I'm gonna have to cook it a little bit. Make it less pink. Even though some people really like it like that, but by the rate of like how my fruit is spoiling, everything's expiring, I should just cook 
cook it so it's preserved better. That is what I got from the market. Also, I went downstairs or I was coming up and I went to our storage room for deliveries and stuff and I got something in the mail. It's kind of like weird now that it's hot again, but I ordered this when it was all rainy. So, because I realized I don't really have any appropriate shoes for the rain. Like in California, you can wear like your regular sneakers, it's fine because it's not even really raining that hard, but here it rains torrentially. So I got some weatherproof shoes. I got these Blondo boots, which are wa waterproof. It says waterproof right here. And then in the description, I could, it said that I can wear them like, not just when it's raining, also when there's rain or like slush. Let's see what this, Okay, not bad. Honestly, this isn't my usual shoe choice, but since it's like waterproof and something I can wear in the snow, it's like a two for one, so. Good morning, guys. It's a new day. I'm getting ready for class. It's nice when I wake up before my alarm so I can take my morning extra slow and just at my own pace and not rushing. I think it's supposed to be harder again today. It's like 80 something. I didn't expect New York weather to be this warm. I thought it'd already be in like 60s. It is now lunchtime. I just heated up some food. I made quesadilla like the other day. But I am gonna open my window because the weather is fantastic. And so I get some fresh air in here. But anyways, this is lunch. I'm gonna add like some chips and sauce and hot sauce and stuff, but basically the same as like the other day. Okay, I'm now getting ready for my night class. It's five and the class starts at 540, but it takes a while to call a ride. I was late one time and now I call a car extra early. And it might be a little extravagant to like call an Uber every week, but it's just a once a week class. It's basically like if I were to buy coffee like two times, three times a week, that's like the cost of going there. Um, but I don't drink coffee, so this is my coffee. <laughs> Okay, so I'm here early because I have to do office hours, but I quickly want to show you guys like the little study rooms that we have. It's like, I've been to my dad's office before and this is kind of like the little rooms that they have. <laughs> this whole thing's like a whiteboard. We're supposed to reserve these spaces, but I saw this was empty, so I'll just leave if someone kicks me out and I feel like that's the usual for study rooms like this. I made it back to my apartment. I had to deal with like package issues downstairs cause I have something else coming in and it says it was delivered using the tracking numbers that they gave me. But then on the app of the actual store I got it from, it doesn't say it's delivered yet and I don't have the package. I'm like, there's a disconnect. So I had to deal with that. I, hopefully it's coming tomorrow. <laughs> Happy birthday, birthday grandma. Yay! Happy birthday, dear Happy birthday. Okay, it is the next day and I wasn't gonna pick up my camera today, my phone, 
um, because I think this video is getting a little long and I wanted to vlog tomorrow because there's a really exciting event for engineering students that I wanted to show you guys. But I got the package that I was talking about last night. So yeah, there was like a disconnect with like the delivery status and the actual delivery, but I have it now, so no biggie. This is also really just for a rainy season. Here it is. It is a trench coat from Ralph Lauren. And I hope it's not too long because I'm very short. The lighting is very dark because I'm like 5'3", so. I hope this isn't too long because it is a maxi coat and it was already kind of long on the model, so we shall see. Oh, she's really long. I <laughs> think she's too long. I really hope it works though because I'm very picky with like the trench coats. Like I love the structure of this one. And I do want it to be like an oversized kind of look. Let's see. I love the buttons and all of that. I'm very particular with the button placements and the, like, the storm flap, the vent, I think. And then I think the storm flaps, like there's none. Super sleek. <gasps> I think it's fine. Wait, I have to look at myself in the mirror. Okay, this is it on. It's very long. <laughs> Where are my feet? But I don't know. I love it too much. We'll see. I'm gonna have to FaceTime my mom so that she can give me her thoughts and opinions. But if I wear it open like this, I don't think it's too bad. Okay, it is Friday now, and I am currently supposed to be doing the fun thing I mentioned in the last clip. But I don't know if I mentioned what it actually was, but if I didn't, it was supposed to be a boat cruise for the engineering students. I was lucky enough to get a ticket. They literally sold out in less than a minute. And I was lucky enough to get one, but I just cannot go on the cruise. And I'm so overwhelmed with stuff for midterms and so much homework is piling up. I don't know why they would add more homework during test season, but I guess they just want you to push through. I'm barely pushing through. So I, yeah, I decided I am at capacity. I cannot go on this boat cruise and have fun because the whole night I'd be thinking about doing work instead of enjoying the city skyline, having drinks and dinner. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess it's just the reality of it. I was like, should I just cut that part out when I said I'm gonna be doing something fun? But no, this is like my entire experience here. And I'm gonna be honest. And I think this is like the first time I've had to say no to some fun school thing before. So I was a little sad this afternoon, but I mean, it is what it is. I'll feel so much better in November when this whole month of October is over with. I have three midterms, I have one next week. All of them I'm pretty much like toast in, so. <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna be grinding this whole month. It's insane, I did not think I would be working this hard i knew i was gonna be working hard but to this level i'm not experienced yet so it's very interesting very overwhelming but i when the second semester rolls around i feel like it'll be a lot better so that's what happened today so on that note i'm going to be ending the video here I hope you guys enjoyed. It wasn't too boring. It wasn't too much of me just doing work and studying. Um, I wanted to add some fun bits in there. So I hope it was entertaining for you guys. Um, if you want more videos like this, make sure you subscribe because I'm definitely going to continue vlogging my whole experience here. No matter how overwhelmed I am. Although I don't, I'm not sure about vlogging in October, the rest of October. But I'll see you guys in November, hopefully. So... <laughs> yeah if you guys want to see more videos like this also traveling i'm huge on traveling so when i get breaks you know i'm going somewhere so subscribe if you want those videos but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i hope to see you guys in the next one bye